right, this morning we're going to learn how to update statistics on tables. So depending on what you're trying to do, you can either update statistics on all tables, which I think is pretty dumb, but it depends on your environment if every one of your tables is updated frequently. And let's suppose that you're not satisfied with what the query optimizer is doing, then yeah, by all means, go ahead and do it. So the really, really, really fast solution is the exec SP update stats, which will do the trick. Right, and so for lazy developers, there you go. Now, if you are particular about which tables you may want to enforce updating, and maybe it's because you happen to know that there are issues and the query optimizer is not always right on the money, so there may be like a couple of tables. What I like to do is put those on a different schema, and then I will loop through the tables on that schema and just update those tables. And again, it's not something that has to happen all the time. And for those of you who are students of my ETL course, uh, look at the PowerShell series because the PowerShell series, I mean, you could easily do this in PowerShell. So it'd be much, much faster. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and do uh, T-SQL. It's been a while since I've written a while loop. So I wrote a while loop this morning. All right, so basically I just declare a loop table. I insert the table name into the loop table where the schema name is stocks. I declare a beginning variable and a max variable and a table variable and then basically while begin is less than max I loop through and the way that it works is so it's update statistics now if there was a DBO schema you wouldn't need to necessarily specify the schema but because this is a stock schema I'm doing stocks dot and then of course this is the table name and then it loops through this so what this does is this updates those statistics on um, these few tables here that are under this table schema stocks. So again, if I happen to know um, that the uh, the schema is, or if I happen to know there's going to be a couple of tables, I would specify it under schema. Note that if you wanted to put this in a stored procedure, what you also could do is this. You could do S, and then you could do plus, and you could do that, and then you could do S. So now we have S. Hold on. And then of course your stored procedure would look something like, I mean this would be the variable for your stored procedure. It would be 50 and then you'd say equals stocks. Equals stocks. And so basically now you will go through and I'll loop and you'll see, oh there was just two tables in this database. <clears throat> And so that updates that. So basically this would be like, you'd have create procedure, STP underscore, uh, update stats, and then the person would pass in the schema name and, and whatnot, and then it would do that. So this is uh, something that can be important to do. Understand that, again, it, you want to make sure that this is actually something that you want to do. It, it's work that may not be necessary, and you may find that it isn't. And you don't want to go around doing this all the time either. So... Um, in the case of one of my databases, I think I do it every two weeks just because of the way that the optimizer uh, works. But after having said that, it's only on a small subset of tables. I believe it's just seven tables. So otherwise, that's how to do it. And again, if you're looking for like the quick fix solution that you can just do all of it, it's right here, just exec and then uh, SP update stats, and that'll basically hit every table.